audiovisual media in learning. Audiovisual media, a powerful tool in communication. Why is it powerful? Usually easier and more effective to do. So face to face than on paper or via email. Face to face is more preferable to most people because they want to see how the person they are communicating with and delivering the other party's message. Unlike in written or text, they don't know if that person is angry or happy. People want to know on your emotions when communicating. And written or audio communicating alone has certain limitations that could model your message. Audiovisual materials are the most complete resources for teachers due to their availability and versatility. They are more handy and can be earned when traveling unlike visual aids only. They enhance the learning experience of students and teachers alike. Definition of Concepts Audio Material Tools to convey information through sound. These are materials that can only be delivered through any audio device. The visual material. Tools to convey information through sight. They can be a stationary picture, text, or a video. Audio visual material. A combination of both sight and sound to convey information. The best source of displaying information because of the combination of the previous two. Audio, sound that is reproduced by a computer or any device that can play it. Video, is an electronic medium for recording, copying, broadcasting of moving visual images. Functions of audiovisual materials. Teaching music literature, science and documentation activities teaching language and other content areas to foster oral communication motivate interpretation to make use of sketches and broadcasts it is more convenient for presenters in using audiovisual materials owing to it that it is more data to show types of audiovisual materials Audio, recordings, these may come in cassettes or CDs. Radio broadcasts, transmission of radio programs can be live or tape. Visual media, bulletin boards, a form to display information on a board. Posters, a form of displaying text and pictures. Audio visual media, motion picture videos, Videos of sound mixed with motion images. Films, large sequences of animated scenes and sounds. Both motion picture videos and films are identical to each other. Guidelines for audiovisual materials in learning and teaching. Images should be as small as possible. Always provide alternative content. Check copyright. Use MP4 format a size of 640 by 400 in a speed of 500 kbps. MP4 is the most common use format because video players use it as their default. Then save audio files in mono format. Do not use stereo because it is not recommended and it needs other audio devices to maximize its potential. Uses of audio visual materials. Stimulate interest and emphasize, promote efficiency, clarify subject matters and topics. Advantages of using audiovisual materials in teaching. Provides diverse teaching techniques for learning, simplify and clarify complex topics, allow students to learn at their pace, can be reused, and reduce the quantity of asked questions. Simply put, it is very much convenient. And the disadvantages. Requires correct use. Not all concepts can be taught. 
should include only images unfit for boards, may not currency learning, good pronunciation is needed, can be difficult to understand for children, good internet speed is required, the proper equipment is needed. It needs further learning before using audiovisual materials. Like all, it is not perfect. Ways to use audio to support learning. Unit podcast example. Weekly updates of teaching material and current situations. Live online discussions. It's between two or more people. And interviews with subject matters. This can be used as core or support for lessons. Student generated recordings. Use as part of a learner activity or to record evidence. Public lectures, those can be repurposed and used for different contexts and subjects. Then ways to use video to support learning. To demonstrate experiments, to exemplify abstract concepts, to illustrate 3D models. To demonstrate time passage example, demonstrate decision making process, and to summarize. Performances and music to show practical activities. The three steps in producing audio visuals planning, the most critical aspect of producing, requires a purpose, brainstorming, and preparation. Preparing a concept for a project is the most important part. The production, the shooting or recording stage is what most people consider the production phase of an audio or video project. It's where the action starts. And the last is publishing. It's the final part producing audio or video for educational purposes and is often referred as post-production and requires editing. After the project is finished, it needs further editing for it to be perfect. The programs create, edit, and publish videos. For creating audacity to record and arrange videos, garage band to record and edit sounds, and Windows Media to record and edit video. To edit, Windows Movie Maker is free to use. The virtual DJ is all free to use to edit sounds and video. And QuickTime Pro and video editing software. For publishing, we have YouTube, Vimeo, SlideShare. The three of them, YouTube is the most convenient and the most famous one.